Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to Dawn of the Zed's 3rd edition basic game and turn 8. Okay, couple of cock ups from last turn. One, which I'm uh, just going to change from now on, I'm not going to backdate anything, regards civilian units when you move them, you can actually move them two spaces. And it just says on here, as you can see, reference card says they can move two spaces. Now, I did move them two spaces right at the beginning of the game, but somewhere along the line, I started moving them only one space. So thanks to Grant on B BGG, who pointed that out, should actually be moving two spaces when we move them. You don't have to move them two spaces, but you can, and I probably would have done. But uh, I won't bother backdating any of that. The other one came from Large Goblin, who noticed that Killdozer, if you actually read it, it's not amazingly clear, but as it says on here, it's a hand-to-hand -hand attack. And we were actually defending last turn, which meant that the Farmingdale Furies were actually... Um, they weren't at human advantage, they were at Zed's advantage. They rolled a 7, which means they lost. So if we have a look at the matrix, so it was Zed's advantage. They didn't get the bonus right shift. Quite why you can't use the killdozer attacking, I don't know. I can't think of any thematic reason why it wouldn't work, but it does say attack. So Zed's advantage it would have been, we rolled a 7, which means we'd have took two damage and retreated and the seven strength Z unit would have took one damage. So what would have happened, we'd have fought at the farm, we'd have lost and both the civilian unit and the Farmingdale Flyers, Furies, sorry, would have been forced to go back. There's a stacking issue because we've got Captain Piazza there, which means these guys would have moved an extra space to avoid stacking. So the one thing about that retreat was it does mean we get an extra damage on the Furies, but they do have a toughness roll. So let's do the toughness roll. And they get a five. So they didn't get that extra damage. They managed to shrug it off but they still got knocked back. Now, after that, we had Captain Piazza shoot at these guys, but they were two away then because we incorrectly moved them back. So she would have been shooting at only one space. So a gunfire attack was from one space. We have a look at Captain Piazza. She's adjacent. She only gets two strength. Yeah when she shoots. So let's go back to the gunfire attack. So she was at two strength and rolled an eight. She would only get one damage onto that Z unit. So here we are. So there would have been a damage from the Furies and we'd have got an extra damage onto them because of Captain Piazza. So they're at two damage, but they haven't flipped. They are still on their strong side. So think that has cleared that up. What it means is we still have Killdozer because we couldn't use it. So we still have that in reserve, so that's fine, but we'll have to make sure we use it when we attack. The other good thing is because these guys didn't lose the combat, they didn't get shoved back. And because they didn't get shoved back to St. Thomas, we don't have a zombie mob. So that is another slight silver lining. Right, so I think that's all the cock up sorted out for turn seven. So let's get on with turn eight. Let's move on to the Zed's phase. And here we are at the Zed's phase. So let's see if we get that track movement. I did check, see if you have a look at these, there was a Forest Knight Assault, 
a suburbs and a mountain night assault so let's see if we get the highway night assault bugger we don't <laughs> So much for my plans. So uh, what have we got? We've got right beneath our feet. So we ignore those. Oh, we have got highway trap movement though. Suburbs trap movement and mountain trap movement. So that'll be fun. But at the beginning of this phase, make a fate draw. Select any civilians or hero unit on the fated track, but not in town center or on the start space. It immediately suffers a Zed's hand-to-hand -hand attack on the equal to column. With normal infection, well, that doesn't count. But train shifts count, that's fine. It was... If it was a defiant civilian's unit, it's no longer defiant. Your unit only suffers losses and does not retreat. And then there's the co-op stuff that we don't do. So first of all, we've got to make that fate draw... Adrenaline supply discovered. Play during the action phase for plus two event actions. Brilliant. So we'll stick that up here with Killdozer. I think we can play that during any action phase. It doesn't have to be the action phase that is coming up right now. So we can keep that in reserve. So that's cool. That is very cool. Let's get back to this. Oh. Oh. We've got to find out which fated track we had. Suburbs. So, on the suburbs track, select any civilians or hero unit on there that isn't in the town centre. I think we'll choose... I think we may choose one of these civilian units, I think. It's a hand-to-hand -hand attack on the equal to column. Right, on the equal to column. So I think we'll use this one strength unit here. That's the one that's going to be attacked. And it's going to be on the equal to column. So hand-to-hand. -hand. So here we are. So, du, 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 du. yes, if we get two hits, we're in trouble. So we need an eight or better. We need an eight or better. Oh, come on. Remember, we're doing it on this one strength unit here. Oh, it's not equal to. Stop, stop. I think we still get terrain shifts. We do get terrain shifts. So from equal to, it moves to Zed's advantage, uh, human advantage, I think. So we need a seven or better. We need a seven or better. Come on. And we get a five. Pants. So I don't think that's good enough. I think we've lost five. Yeah, we got two on that. And we got two hits ourselves, which will probably kill us. So what we've got to do now, I believe, is we've just got to check whether they survive or not. I'll just have a look at the rule book. Won't be a second. Right, I'm back. Yes, it does get a saving roll. So it would have took two hits and would have been like killed but we get to do a saving roll where's the it's a dice cut a three is not good enough we have lost our first unit so these guys go into the cemetery i picked those because they only had one strength so these were our weakest unit so a bit unfortunate 
but let's keep the two strength unit. So we've lost our first unit, which is a bit of a blow. So nasty, nasty card. Don't think that's it as regards the text. Yeah, that's it regarding the text. So now we've got all these movements. So first of all, we've got highway track movement. So these all move to space four. There we go. There are no other Z unit on the highway track. Suburbs track all move one. There we go. And the other one was the mountain track. So we do get a bit of a laugh on the mountain track as that unit moves to the lucky strike mine. Let's zoom in on that because we're gonna have to do a hand-to-hand -hand combat. And here we are at the lucky strike mine. Right, I think we're going to have the civilian unit do the defending. Now, Mr. Johnson could lay a trap. But the problem with that is, if he lays the trap and it actually works, everybody's got to sort of like retreat. So, and I don't want him to retreat because I want him to look for ammunition there. So, really, we want to kick out this unit. We do have a right shift with this civilian unit because they're well armed and... We also get a terrain shift. So we've got two right shifts. We've got Zed's advantage because they're three strength and they're only two strength. But as I say, we've got two right shifts. So let's have a look. Well, from Zed's advantage, we go to human advantage. So let's give it a go. And let's hope we roll a bit better than we have been doing. So come on. And we get a seven, I think that's good enough. So human advantage. And we get a seven. Yes, we only take one damage. They take two damage and get knocked back. But even better than that, they've already got one damage on them, so that will destroy them. So we get rid of a Z unit. You can go back in the bag. And oh, yes, we had a. We've got a roll. <laughs> we've got a roll to see if we survive. I forgot we had. Um, we did already have a hit on us. Come on. A six. So they did survive. I believe, though, they've got to go back to. Yeah. It has to move to the town centre. I think it keeps its well-armed marker because it didn't go to the cemetery. On the card, when we originally got that, I think it says you only take it off if you go to the cemetery. So these guys have moved here. I'm not sure if we take that hit off that was already on. I don't think we do. Right. So there we go. Um, we've got to finish our mounting trap movement. So these guys move up one. So unfortunately, we've got no meat shield for Mr. Johnson anymore. But we'll see how we go on. Right. So I think that is now it for the card. Yes, the mounting trap movement was the final movement. Right. Oh, so let's get into the action phase. And here we are in the action phase. So let's just check the card before we discard it. We get two event actions. That's cool. So move that up there. And we are ready to go. Right, let's get on to the forest track. And the Furies are going to do correctly what they did incorrectly last time. They're going to climb in the killdozer and they're going to attack. Here we are on the forest track. So the girls, they don't like being beat. 
So they're moving back to the farm and they're taking the killdozer with them. This time they are attacking so they can use it. That will give them two shift to the right. Yep, they will not get the terrain shift though. If you're attacking, I believe, and moving into a space, I believe you don't get the terrain shift. So we'll only get the two shift of the actual killdozer itself. Let's put that there. Can we see it? We can. So hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's Zeds are two times better. But we're now going to go to equal two because we're using the dozer. So we're rolling on the equal two column. Come on, let's do it. A 10, yes. Go girls, go girls. So they got a 10 on the equal two, which is a three and a one. Three, brilliant. So they put three and they have to retreat that unit. There you go, here, first thing to do, first hit, flicks them over, and the second hit does the remaining two damage. So there we go. Now, they took a hit, so what we're going to have to do is roll, because they're tough. They get a four, so they didn't even get the hit. Now, we can discard Killdozer. They've done a fantastic job. Angelina and the Furies, kicking ass, have retaken the farm. Brilliant stuff. Well done, girls. That is fabulous. So that is our first action. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Where are we going to go next? In fact, no, we're going to spend... Um, oh. Forgot to move the action down. So we've spent one event action. We're going to spend another event action with Captain Piazza. Let's, let's put this back here. Yeah, let's try and finish off this unit. She is going to shoot. So we go down to four ammo. This time they are two away. So she gets a gunfire attack at strength four. A nine. This is more like it. Gunfire attack. Strength four. She's got a nine. That's two. So we assign one to this unit. And it's good night Vienna to them. So we get rid of those. Then you go back in the bag. And the spare hit goes on to these guys. So, excellent. Right, so we've used our two event actions for the Farmingdale Furies and Captain P. Atzer. Next up, let's go to Mr. Johnson at the Lick Strike Man. And here we are with Mr. Johnson. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so he is going to use the player action. And he's going to spend that. And he is going to look for ammo. Again. And he misses again. Oh, that isn't good. That is not good at all. What is wrong, man? So, oh, we could have had... We could have had loads and loads of ammo. Loads. See, even on the back side of the token, you get plus 10. So, you're not limited to 10. Oh, we should have at least 10 ammo now. But for him, it's rubbish. Right, so that is a real mess. That is a real mess. And we've got them, you know, right on our doorstep as well now. So that is yet another action. Ruined by Mr. Johnson. Okay. <laughs> right. So nothing else for it. We shall have to... Oh, hang on. Play during the action phase for two event actions. We're playing it. We're absolutely playing it. Sod it. We don't know what will happen next turn. He may get shoved. So we're going to get two of those. 
I don't think it matters when we decide to play it during the action phase, so long as we play it during the action phase. Let's just check. Yes, it doesn't say play at the start of the action phase, it just says play during the action phase. So, he's found some adrenaline. <laughs> Do we find him some glasses? But he's found some adrenaline. So, we've got, um, we've got two actions. So, we're back up to two. And he's going to search again. Come on. Ammo, please. A six. He gets two ammo. So we're back up to six. There's now one action left. And he's going to shoot, I think. Yeah, let's really try and keep this mountain track clear. So he can continue to stop <laughs> to not find ammunition at the lucky strike mine or is that the best idea let's have a quick think or do we give that action to might give that action actually to the sheriff because we've got to start shooting haven't we on the suburbs track i think Urgh. or do we try and get no no We'll give it to the sheriff. Right, so that's it for Mr. Johnson. Let's get down to uh, Sheriff Hunt. And here we are with Sheriff Hunt. Let's put the tower in there. Right, what are we going to do? Well, Sheriff Hunt has got his leadership ability. And he has got, we've got one event action left. So first of all, we're going to spend an event action. And we're going to spend one of these ammunition so we're down to five he's going to shoot at these guys so he is a strength of five so this should be pretty good we're on here a strength of five he can shoot one so two dice come on sheriff a seven so five a seven he puts two damage onto that Z unit so not bad not bad I don't suppose could have been a bit better and what's he gonna do next he has got a leadership ability but unfortunately he can't use it because we've got nobody who's only one away they're all two away, so, oh, that's a pity. I mean, I, I could have used that event action to move here, but no. I'll stay there, and, um, yeah, he'll just stay there, I think. So, unfortunately, we weren't, we weren't able to use his leadership ability this turn. Right, next up is Deputy Schmidt. He can use his initiative action. And here we are with Deputy Schmidt. Right, so let's put that in there. Can we see that? We can. So he's got his initiative token that he can spend. He is going to spend it on himself and he is going to shoot. So we're back down to four ammo. Right, oh, so come on. He's got four strength on the gunfire chart. And he rolls a four, which is bloody rubbish. Which means he has wasted an ammunition. <laughs> so what a mixed turn. So we've had a waste of ammunition. We've had a waste of an ammunition roll. And we've had the waste of a leadership token, unfortunately. But never mind. We'll uh, have to deal with it. Um, we did get a few hits. I think we did get rid of two Z units, so not too bad. Right, so that is it for the action phase. Next up, it is the housekeeping phase. And here we are at the housekeeping phase. So let's turn these actions over, apart from leadership action, which we don't have to turn over because we couldn't use it. Okay, where are we up to? 
well we've still got four ammo which isn't bad we should be on a lot more ammo but I just can't roll for toffee at the lucky strike mine unfortunately uh, we got rid of two Z units so that was cool the Furies used the Killdozer we also used a, another fake card that we got we got um, what was it Adrenaline which was lucky because we needed to use that to get some ammo otherwise we'd be down on two ammo now so it's, uh, other than that though we, there was some appalling stuff there was some appalling rolling and some good rolling Deputy Smith is rubbish <laughs> Mr Johnson is rubbish uh, Captain Piazza did well the Furies did well and it wasn't too bad from Sheriff Hunt um, he managed to use an event action to get two damage on this this unit here we did lose a civilian unit there in the cemetery but we also made a um, we made a couple of what's the word saving throws so this unit here managed not to die they got sent to the town center and of course the Furies made a saving two saving throws against damage um, right at the start when I was correcting that error and after the battle with the um, after the rematch with that seven strength zombie unit they also managed to stop themselves getting another damage so that's cool but I'm still not very happy I missed too many rolls there there was too many bad rolls we should be on a lot more ammunition and I really did want Deputy Schmidt to put her hurting on the units there on Interstate 4 we're going to have a real problem when they start moving forward I actually think that what how many we're on is it eight must be on eight because it's turn eight one two three four five six seven eight eight I think we are going to go next turn on to the third stage so we'll start getting three stars on those event cards so it's going to step up again it's going to get even worse I'd feel a lot better if we had a lot more ammunition to be honest but that's the way the game goes it's just going to be one long sort of scrabble to hold out and keep these guys back so as far as the tracks go the mounting track doesn't look too bad Hopefully uh, that old coot will be able to keep that single Z unit out of the mine while he desperately tries to find ammunition. Highway track is a bit of a problem. We've got 12 strength of units on there, Z units, and only one hit on them. So we may struggle there, especially seeing as Deputy Smith can't seem to shoot straight. The suburbs track not too bad we've got a weak unit that's facing up to sheriff hunt there so i think he will be able to defend Beauville, but we'll see if we get a double movement then we're really in trouble because there's a nine unit right behind it so he may have to fall back on the forest track we've cleared it up a bit we have cleared it up a bit so the furies and captain piazza are doing a pretty good job there uh, perhaps next turn depending on what event card we get we can put a bit more of a hurt in and perhaps get rid of another Z unit on there so the real worries though are the highway track and the forest track I think and soon to be a real worry is the suburbs track so anyway we will have to see how we go on right oh so that is it for turn seven or turn eight sorry of dawn of the zeds third edition and the basic game thank you very much for watching thank you very much for subscribing thanks so much for all the help support tips and corrections and tactical advice it is very much appreciated and thank you to everybody who's been across to board game links to upvote the site so i hope you join me next time for turn nine but until then, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo.